To my right, we have the Samsung QN90B Neo QLED, and on my left, we have the LG C2 OLED. Both of these are 2022 models, and both of these are around the same price. And as usual, I will have the product links for the TVs we were talking about in the description below. If you use those links and buy anything at all from the website, it will help out the channel. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so my goal for this video is to point out the strengths and the weaknesses of both TVs and to help aid you make a better decision on which TV to buy for your home. So with that said, let me explain my filming process a little bit to you. So I filmed this video with two different methods in mind. So one I will be calling the traditional method and the other is called the post method. Instead of explaining what they all do right here, I'm going to just put it at the bottom of the video and it will also be in the description if you ever just want to know know what I did. Also, it's going to be important to really listen to what I'm saying when I'm talking about a clip specifically, because this is going to be more accurate than what you are seeing on the camera most of the time. I took notes on all of these when I was watching it side by side. That said, I do think some of the footage came out really good and close to what I was seeing with my eyes, but still keep all of that in mind when watching this video. All right, so let's first talk about the Neo QLED versus the OLED while these clips are playing. And then I'm going to explain some of the clips that are happening as well. So when we're talking about the Neo QLED versus the OLED, let's talk about the strengths of the Neo QLED first. So the strengths of the Neo QLED is going to be the brightness of the panel. The panel is bright and it can get very bright in comparison to the OLED. So that's going to be the biggest strength that it has over the OLED. One great example of this is big bright daylight scenes. This is where the Neo QLED is going to have a clear advantage over the OLED. So when we're talking about what scenes really have the advantage on the OLED, you got to flip that a little bit. And now we're talking about night scenes. For example, if you look at a image with a night sky and stars in the sky, well, we're talking about an image that really can only be correctly represented by an OLED TV because all those individual stars in the skies, well, they're not always going to be fully lit up to the way that they look in real life. Unless, of course, you had an OLED. So that is because of the self-emissive pixels and each pixel can turn itself off completely and that's how you get the perfect black and really it is a sight to behold when you see these scenes i'm going to show you an example of a fireworks display where you will see some off angle blooming from the neo qled i say off angle blooming because i am slightly at an angle on the neo qled and that is one of the disadvantages to the neo qled is off angle viewing because of the mini led technology will have some blooming at off angles on these challenging scenes. Even head on, you see a little bit of blooming in this scene. This scene is a very challenging scene for the Neo QLED, and I don't expect it to handle it very well in the first place. That said, I will raise the ISO just a little bit so you can see the glow clearly. And then, of course, you won't see that same glow on the OLED because it is not capable of blooming. Now let me transition to what both of these TVs do very well, and that is gaming. Gaming is kind of both of these TVs bread and butter. Now I will give the advantage slightly to the LG C2 for gaming because of the input lag and the response time. This is so important for gamers that I really have to let you guys know that this is a difference maker if you're playing competitive shooters or if you're just somebody who plays fast paced games. You're gonna love an OLED. There's no doubt about it. That's not to say that the Neo QLED has a bad input lag. It doesn't. It's just that the combination of the input lag plus the response time of the OLED just gives you that advantage for competitive games. Now, if you're somebody who plays more casual games, maybe you'll like the Neo QLED better because it can get brighter. And honestly, at times, that's what a lot of gamers really just want. Brightness matters a lot for gamers. And so when you have a game where you are able to display the full brightness capability of that game, there's no doubt about it, the king of HDR gaming is the Samsung Neo QLED. So it kind of goes back to what we were talking about earlier with bright scenes and dark scenes, right? Bright games are amazing on the Neo QLED. Dark games, on the other hand, they're pretty good, but they're definitely not as good as the OLED. Elden Ring, for example, 
I'll take that on the OLED every day. And I have played it on both the QLED and the OLED substantially. And I have to say that a game like that is definitely better off played on an OLED. When we're talking about Forza Horizon 5 in the daytime though, well, Neo QLED definitely wins that one. I think that absolutely, there's no doubt about it. When it comes to games like that, it's best experienced on the Neo QLED. With that said, I'm not saying that you can't play both of these games on either TV. I'm just telling you which one would give you the better experience. That way, if you have a favorite genre type, maybe you factor that into your TV choice. So does it come down to a dark game versus a light game or a dark movie versus a light movie? Not really, but it kind of can be boiled down to that in certain circumstances because a lot of times these two TVs can look very identical and the only thing that separates them is going to be their strengths. For example, you'll see the OLED will present some darker lines on images and just kind of give you more depth to the image in general. So a really good example of this is on the stones here for this LG demo, you could see that in the dark blue stones, there's definitely more depth to that image. And I think that that's one of the strengths of OLED. On the flip side, if you look at the gem on the QN90B, the highlights are definitely sticking out a lot more on that TV. It's so much brighter than the LG OLED in that circumstance. In a way, it's kind of funny to think about because the LG OLED strength is its black levels and its weakness is how bright it can get for daytime scenes. And on the other side of that, the QN90B Neo QLED does really good in bright scenes, daytime scenes, but when you're talking about some challenging dark scenes or black backgrounds, well, that's where it starts to fall apart. But I wanna make sure that I'm clear on this though. The Neo QLED TV actually has some really great black levels. In fact, it can get to the levels of the darkest darks and you will be able to watch some movies that you normally probably wouldn't be able to enjoy on a traditional LCD on the Neo QLED and think that this is close to OLED. You know, so it's just really those challenging scenes where you start to see the cracks of the Neo QLED. And then the OLED itself, well, that can do some really good neutral scenes, some daylight scenes even, but once it gets to those brightest scenes, well, that's where you start to see the ABL and the weaknesses of the OLED. So there's no doubt about it. Both of these TVs have those strengths and the weaknesses, and they have to be emphasized and called out a lot, or else you'll really never know what you're getting at the end of the day. So let me talk about screen uniformity. I won't have an example to show for you guys, so just take a look at some of this side-by-side -side footage, but let's talk about it because we have the dirty screen effect on the LCD TV that is a prominent factor when you're buying an LCD TV. And this is no different on the Neo QLED. So you will have the risk of dirty screen effect. Every LCD panel has that. So it's just a matter of can you enjoy it enough without that bothering you? because there are going to be some really bad examples where you're probably going to want to return that panel for a new one. But if you have some where you don't see it in normal content, then you might want to just live with that. For the OLED on the other hand, we do still have some screen uniformity issues to worry about. There is definitely some banding issues that can really creep in and mess up your viewing experience. Now, this is less noticeable than dirty screen effect for the most part, unless you get a really bad example. So if you look around, there is some bad examples of OLED out there, but not nearly as much as LCD. So yes, both can have bad screen uniformity and both could present a problem where you need to return the TV to the store to get a new one. But I would say that with OLED, you're probably more likely to get a clean panel than you are with an LCD TV. All right, so let's take a look at this example from this Sony demo of sword making where we're gonna look at the Neo QLED and show kind of the highlight detail on full display. I mean, it's just amazing what the Neo QLED can do with highlight detail and just highlights in general, especially the new QN90B, the smaller spectacle highlights really stick out way more than the QN90A did last year. 
and it just presents such a beautiful image for the Neo QLED. So yeah, the QLED90B is a highlight master. There's no doubt about it. That is such a cool image. This next clip is the LG chess demo. We're going to take a look at the scene with this king here. And you can see the gold on the QN90B is really making this scene kind of pop a little bit more. Um, while I think I would probably prefer the more neutral look here for this type of scene, I don't know exactly. I keep going back and forth with it. So this is definitely going to boil down to personal preference. Which do you guys like better? Let me know in the comments below. Which image do you prefer here? Do you prefer the left king or the right king? The one thing that the QN90B does that is a benefit is it pushes highlights a lot but it also can be a detriment at times uh, because there is certain scenes where I don't really want as much highlights as I'm getting uh, from the same demo we're taking a look now at this cape here and there's just so much shine off of the cape and I don't know if that's what it's intended to look like but on the QN90B it is just like beaming off of his cape and I'm not sure what the heck's going on with the highlights there but, you know, it really is personal preference on what you would prefer. So if you're somebody who just wants everything to pop, all the highlights to pop, the QN90B is no doubt the one you want to pick. But if you're somebody going for a more realistic filmic look, the LG OLED is tough to beat in that department. You will be lacking some highlights from time to time with the LG OLED. So you'll have to keep that in mind when choosing between these two TVs. Again, it boils down to the strengths and the weaknesses that we mentioned a little bit earlier. So another example I want to show you is this QNED demo from LG as well. And if you look at some of the green on the gem there, and then if you look at the way the gems are shining, that is also going to be brighter on the Neo QLED. And on the LG OLED, that part's just not really presented as a highlight and it just feels like it's a little bit more flat you know and that is going to be a deal breaker for some people I know uh, when we're talking about LG OLED versus Neo QLED this has been in my experience what most people are really concerned about from talking to all my viewers over the last two years I think that there's no doubt about it you know it does boil down to what we talked about in this video and I hope that will help you see the difference and choose which one you like the most. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. I'll have more side-by-side -side content for you and also more TV reviews, including the QN90B, the LG C2, and of course the QD OLED. You're not gonna wanna miss that, so make sure you subscribe. If you wanna see more videos on the QN90B or the LG C2, I'll have those on my channel. You can view them at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.